Um, so media today is the fourth estate, but uh, TV shows and advertisements, we still see them glorifying female stereotypes. So what is your opinion on that? Yeah, uh, media is um, the fourth estate. I don't want to underplay that particular dimension of the media and media today. But at the same time, this fourth estate is an estate which is very highly commercialized. Okay. Now, when a particular organization gets very highly commercialized, the way the Indian media today has been, even the content gets commercialized. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so even the representation of the Individuals gets commercialized, the representation of social groups gets commercialized. Now, the fact that uh, women are treated as commodities okay, in many of these advertisements is, I think, essentially a reflection of the high level of commercialization of the media organization as a group, okay, even though it does play a role as the fourth estate. In, in that sense, it's a very complex thing, but this is something which, you know, the commodification of, say, the female body, I think is something which has gone on, you know, taken on extremely disturbing dimensions in media over the past 15 20 years because of commercialization. So how ethical do you think is the way rape cases and rape survivors are reported in TV channels? You know, uh, again, uh, there could be uh, two ways in which rape cases or rape survivors uh, can be dealt with. Uh, I'm not talking about, say, uh, a certain media guidelines like, say, the name of the victim should not be you know, revealed and things like that. I think more or less the Indian media largely adheres to these types of uh, guidelines. But in terms of a broader approach to these problems, okay, uh, take the case of, uh, say, the Delhi rape case. Now, it was covered in such a fashion as if this rape was something which was isolated from, say, what is happening in the rest of the society. Okay. Uh, now, but uh, um, rapes, like any other forms of violence, uh, cannot be considered uh, from you know, what's happening in the rest of the society in terms of, say, gender inequalities, uh, in terms of a whole lot of these types of problems. Uh, and uh, when you separate these cases from, say, the larger societal uh, background, there's also the other danger, which you very often observe in the media uh, these days, is that uh, you think that hanging the rapist will solve the problem. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so you pay for his blood. Okay. Uh, uh, something which I think the media has been overplaying. Okay. Instead of trying to see the social roots uh, or the social, that as a larger social problem, if it is seen as some sort of event, uh, where there is a victim and there, and there is a perpetrator. Okay, of course there is a victim and there is a perpetrator, but they have to be seen in the context. If you don't do that, I think uh, you will end up taking very liberal positions like uh, hanging them as the only solution, you know, or the, that will be dealing with 